From his days on Beverly Hills 90210 to living with Brad Pitt, Jason Priestley is telling all to our Brooke Anderson. Hi, I'm Roxy Diaz with ET Now. And they were three teenage girls working in a very high pressure situation and, and, and doing the best they could. Everybody did the absolute best they could in, in those situations. And I really, uh, I, I really didn't see all that much. Jason opening up about the drama on the set of Beverly Hills 90210 and the off-screen romances. Well, sort of. You talk about love affairs on set as well, <laughs> and you said it's all true. It yeah. happened. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. What, give me some dirt. I, I, you know, a gentleman. I'm a gentleman. <laughs> gentlemen never tell. Well, let's talk Shannon Doherty, because you had some really funny stories about her. Yes. I, look, I love Shannon. One of the things that people always gave Shannon a hard time about, and certainly in the tabloids, they gave her a hard time about, you know, Shannon always felt very free to speak her mind, mm -hmm. and she was brutally honest with people. And I say that in the book. Shannon just spoke her mind, yeah. just said whatever she felt like, yeah. which uh, was really refreshing and, fu and fun and funny, and one of the things I really enjoyed about her. Jason and the cast skyrocketed to fame during the second season of the hit 90 series. He talks all about it in his new memoir, including the side of fame that some don't see. Fame is interesting. We were all relatively young people, and being faced with an onslaught of fame like that is confusing more than anything. It's just you don't really know what to do, where to turn, or who to trust. Jason also admits he used to live with Brad Pitt back in the day, so we had to know if they've kept in touch all these years. We haven't. You know, it's a, it's a funny thing. You know, we, we were all unemployed actors together, and. You know, my career took me one direction and Brad's career took him off in another direction and you know, this, this was in the days before cell phones and you know, or we all had brick phones and uh, you know, after a while, you know, we, we just ended up losing touch and uh, you know, whenever I run into Brad, we have a great time. You can pick up his book, Jason Priestley, a memoir in stores now and make sure you tune into ET Tonight for all the best in entertainment news. I'm Roxy Diaz with ET Now.